Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be reacting to Tottenham Hotspur's deadline deal signings as they completed the signing of Rodrigo Bentancur on a four-year contract from Juventus as well as his teammate Dejan Kulusevski on an 18-month contract, 18-month uh, loan with an option to buy at the end for 25 million euros. We're going to start with Rodrigo Bentancur, the Uruguayan midfielder, has signed a contract with us until 2026. Uh, he came through the ranks at Boca Juniors, then moved to Juventus, where he won three consecutive Serie A titles, as well as the Supercoppa Italiana twice and the Coppa Italia, Italia twice. He features regularly for Serie A and the Champions League, and he also represents Uruguay. I think he'll be a great signing for Spurs um, as of his play style and stuff like that. He seems like he's like uh, Pierre-Emile Hoybier a lot and he's just going to be winning the ball a lot in midfield and really that center core. This is He, he can add to, actually with the addition of Benten core, we could play three in midfield. Like we saw against Leicester, like a three, we, five, we have yeah, we have yeah. enough play, enough midfielders now. Another thing, additionally, is that day. Uh, well, we'll get on to Dehan later, but um, we haven't had a defensive midfielder like Ben Court in a long time. Who's the last aggressive? Musa Dembele was the last guy that had that much aggression. Yeah. As a DM, Hoybier is not. He's aggressive, he, but he's not like Dembele aggressive. Yeah. Or South America aggressive. Because. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then we had Gio, who's South American. But he's more, he's attacking. Attacking, yes. Um, we did complete some loan out deals. Um, those, uh, but we'll recap all of the action from Tottenham Hotspur's side in the uh, January transfer window in another video that will hopefully come out either tonight or tomorrow, um, Tuesday. But this is a very good signing. Very quickly done. Um, this only came really into the news maybe three days ago, two days yeah. ago. We agreed on a fee very quickly. I think it was around 19 million euros, or 19 million pounds. And uh, Rodrigo Bentancur has agreed to a four-year contract, which see, uh, keeps him at N17 until 2026. Moving on to his counterpart teammate, Dejan Kulusevski, has signed from Juventus on an 18-month-long loan um, with an option to buy from Juventus. Uh, the option to buy is around... 25 million uh, pounds. You know, he's a great winger. We haven't... This is exactly what we need. We need a winger who has good physicality. They're fast, skillful, strong. I already said physical. Um, and tall. That's exactly what we need. We don't have a tall winger. We don't have a winger that can head. Yeah. At all. I mean, Lucas Except can Lucas head, Moore. but he doesn't have the physicality. Yeah. Um... So, uh, just looking back on his history a little bit, he was born in Stockholm and represents Sweden at an international level. He first played for Atalanta in the Serie A, then uh, was loaned out to Parma, earned a move to Juve, won the 2019-20 Best Young Player in Serie A, and was a very consistent regular for Juventus during the 2020-21 season. Now, this, I think, is going to be a very important signing just because he can play behind a striker. So in that 3-4-3 three, four, three, four, three formation, or sorry, 3-5-2 three, even, 3-4-3 three, or 3-5-2. Three, uh, I know Conte likes both, but more 3-4-3 three, three he prefers. Um, we could put, In 3-4-3, three, three, we can play him on the wing, and in 3-5-2, we can play him in that one midfielder that's right behind the, uh, the two strikers because I know he likes that position, and he's able to play there with good results. But he, of course, first and foremost is a winger. Um, but I'm excited. These are two very big signings. Um, I do think that maybe we should have, you know, maybe signed a backup striker. Mm -hmm. The last time we signed a backup striker permanently was in 2017, I believe, when Fernando Llorente joined us. That was the last time we signed a permanent backup striker. We still don't have a permanent backup striker. We don't. Even you know, have if we bought you Vinicius, we could have been so good. We probably yeah. would have. We, I'm. We, def, we would have definitely um, 
Stayed in the conference, conference league, league. Yeah. yeah. Vinicius if, loves those random... He just farms goals. Yeah, he loves farming um, goals. But I think the price was too high for us. Was yeah. it 54 million or something, something like that? It's like 40. It was 40. the lowest they were willing to go. Um, but, you know, uh, we'll, we'll go over more of our opinions on the whole transfer window and what, uh, you know, Tottenham could could have done to do, to improve where they did well on in the later video that will hopefully come out tonight, if not tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, that's the end of our reaction to Dejan Kulusevski and Rodrigo Bentancourt joining Tottenham from Juventus. Rodrigo, again, on a uh, four-year contract. Kulusevski on an 18-month loan to buy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like button for more content. Comment down below what your uh, uh, opinions on... Um, these players are what you think, how you think Spurs did in signing them, and what your hopes are for them the rest of this season. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!